Hi, Mark here from Initial and Vapors, and today in this video, I'll be showing you how to replace the coil in each of the following devices. You can see here the Tornado, the all in one device, the Pockex, the Elitar pipe, and the Arc 4 slash Arc Mini. First, we'll have a look at the Tornado. Make sure the device is turned off by pressing it five times. First, remove the atomizer from the battery. Next, disassemble the atomizer. Unscrew the bottom part of the atomizer from the tank part. On the bottom part of the atomizer, you can see the coil. Gently pull the coil out of the bottom part of the atomizer. Get a new coil from the packet. And push it into the bottom part of the atomizer. Make sure it is properly placed and there is no space that would lead to leaking or shorting of your device. Screw back the bottom part of the atomizer with a new coil to the tank part of the atomizer. Again, make sure it is properly screwed in to prevent leaks. Now I'll change the coil of the all-in-one device. Again, make sure the device is turned off. First, remove the top part of your all-in-one device. This device has a child lock mechanism. Therefore, you need to put the gentle pressure pushing downwards and twist counterclockwise to release the top. Remove the coil by turning it counterclockwise and you can use a tissue to give you more grip as the coil is slippery. Take a new coil from the packet. Before you screw it back onto the top part of the atomizer, you need to prime the coil. Priming is basically putting two to three drops of e-liquid inside the middle part of the coil as shown here. This is to ensure that the cotton inside the coil is saturated with sufficient e-liquid to help in the wicking process and prevent premature burning of your coil. After priming your coil, you can now screw it on the top of the atomizer. Make sure you screw it properly to prevent shorts or leakages. Screw the top part with the new coil on the tank part of the device properly. Screw the top part with the new coil on the tank part of the device properly. Wait for two to three minutes before using your device. Let the liquid soak in even more to prevent premature burning of your coils. After two to three minutes has passed, you can now use your device. The Pockex device. Again, make sure that the device is turned off. First, remove the top part of your Pockex device. Twist counterclockwise to release the top. Remove the coil by turning it counterclockwise. You can use a tissue to give you more grip as the coil can be slippery. Take a new coil from the packet before you screw it back on the top part of the atomizer. You need to prime the coil. Priming is basically putting two to three drops of e-liquid on each of the two side wicking holes as shown here. This is to ensure that the cotton inside of the coil is saturated with sufficient e-liquid to help in the wicking process and prevent premature burning of your coil.
Screw the top part with the new coil on the tank of the device properly. Wait for two to three minutes before using your device. Let the liquid soak in even more, again, to prevent premature burning of your coils. You can now use your device. Now we'll change the coil of the Elitar pipe. First, make sure that your pipe is turned off by pressing the fire button five times in consecutive successions. Now remove your atomizer from the pipe itself or the battery mod. Unscrew the top part of the atomizer where you can see the coil. For this, you can use a cloth or a tissue paper to give you more grip for removing the coil. I twist the coil counterclockwise or anti-clockwise. Gently twist it counterclockwise to remove the coil from the top part of the atomizer. Now you can get a new coil from the packet. Again, similarly to the all-in-one device, uh, you need to prime the coil. Again, priming basically is putting two to three drops of e-liquid in the middle section or middle part of the coil inside it. It's just to ensure or to help it soak in more e-liquid more efficiently. Now screw it back into the top part of the atomizer. And now you can put in the coil at the top part and screw it back onto the tank part of the atomizer as shown here. Now, screw the whole atomizer back to your battery mod, and you're good to go. Now we'll take a look at how to change the coils for your Arc Mini device. You can also do the same thing with your Arc 3, Arc 4 devices as the tanks and these devices are very very similar. Remove your atomizer from your battery by twisting it counterclockwise. Now remove the bottom part of the atomizer from the tank part of the atomizer and now you can see your coil. Unscrew the coil from the bottom part of the atomizer by twisting it counter or anti-clockwise. Now get a new coil from the packet. Now with your new coil, screw it onto the bottom part of the atomizer. And now screw back the bottom part with the new coil into the top part of the atomizer. With this, you don't really need to prime it, unlike the rest of them. You just have to leave it there, sitting for two to three minutes until the old coil is fully soaked. Again, it's just to prevent shorts or prevent premature burning of your coil. There you go, you have now changed your coil and your device is ready to use. Thank you so much for watching the video. We will be releasing a new video every week, only here on the Facebook page of Inishon Vapors.